hello everyone welcome to unshackling sudokus and puzzles today we have got for you a diagonal sudoku titled turbine x created by rom planer so i don't think we have covered any sudoku by this author so far on the channel this is the first sudoku uh, this is a live solve so i hope you enjoy this video um, uh, around seven or eight people uh, have solved the sudoku it was published on the discord server of ctc uh, let's see how it goes uh, the link to solve this uh, is in the description of the video please do give it a try come back and watch the video and do remember to subscribe to the channel if you enjoy what we have been doing we'll be really happy to see you subscribe so let's move on to the rules each row each column oops i don't know why it's not moving properly okay and each three by three box in the grid has digits one to nine without any repetitions and apart from that these two blue lines that you see starting from top left to bottom right and top right to bottom left also have digits one to nine without any repetitions let's start the sudoku now two is in column eight and nine so that gives two in these two cells 2 is in row 9, 2 is in column 5, so that gives a 2 in these two cells. Okay, not much with the 2s. Let's get to 3s. 3 in column 7, it must be in one of these two cells. Not much with the 3s either. So let's get to... Uh, sixes maybe I see quite a few sixes in the grid so six in column three must be in these three cells is it really necessary to mark that let's drop that let's go to some other digit one one in row one and column five so that gives one in these two cells which gives a one in row three there we got our first digit and now I'm looking along the top left to bottom right diagonal for the ones so you can notice that one must either be in this cell or this cell along this diagonal there is not much option for the ones along the diagonal and one in row seven can only be here or here wow this is nice guys now look at the top right to bottom left diagonal where can the one be one must be in one of these three cells right so that eliminates the one from here and that gives the one along the other diagonal. So one must be here. That gives one in these two cells. So a nice thing going on with the ones. One also must be uh, in these two cells for this diagonal. Now, so, okay, one can be placed now, one can't be here. So one has to go here which gives one here so nice thing with the ones we did there four isn't here so four goes in one of these two cells ah sorry there is one more one that i can place sorry this could be placed here uh all the ones have been placed right uh eight is not in row one so eight goes in one of these two cells the cursor is dragging really slowly for some reason i'm not sure and that is really inconveniencing All right six in row four and five so six goes in these two cells now you can see that six along this diagonal is really a restricted in possibilities a closer look gives six in these two cells hmm so the one we started, we noticed that six must be here. We are marking that now because we have some action with the sixes. And four can't be here, can't be here. So that puts four in a diagonal, which is really nice. Four can't be here in any of these cells. okay two in row seven must be in these three cells can't be here i mean due to this pointing pair 
these two cells are eliminated these two cells are already eliminated so two must go here so that means along this diagonal the top right to bottom left there are only two cells left for the two either this one let's mark that in or this one this is really interesting so what it does is that now this cell can't be a two because that eliminates both the yellow cells as not being a two so the two along this diagonal is also getting restricted now it can either be in this cell let's mark that in green maybe this cell or can't be here it can't be here or this cell okay so again just the two options can we use this i don't think so Wow, this is really interesting guys. I think this is quite a challenge to find every digit here. Ah, nice. 5 is not in these two cells. So 5 goes here. That's a 4-5 pair. Which gives you a 7-8 pair. Now let's focus on row 6 and write the possibilities. 3-6 and this is going to be 2-3 and 6. Ha, ah, nice. We are getting a digit. Look at the fives, which we haven't focused much on. Box one, five can be placed in this cell. So that leaves six in these two cells. Uh, any more with the fives? No. Okay, let's look at maybe, okay, fives along the uh, diagonal. Five can't be in these three cells. Five cannot be here so five could be here five could be here or five could be here three possibilities for the five okay right five in column two so five goes here in these two cells and now along this diagonal i'm looking for the fives okay five can be here so let's mark the uh, pink color for those possibilities so five has just these two cells along that diagonal that is interesting Ah, now what it does is that it removes the 5 from this cell. Same, the same thing that we did with the yellows. Now look at this cell. It is seeing both these pink cells, right? If you put a digit here that cannot be in this pink cell, nor can it be in this cell. So this cannot be a 5. So 5 is not here, 5 is not here. And that leaves 5 is not in these 3 cells. So just these 2 cells. Fantastic. So 5 can only be in these 2 cells along this diagonal. Nice. Uh, so I'm thinking here what happens if this is a 5. The 5 gets forced here. Just follow the blue uh, cells. And 5 gets forced here. 5 gets forced here. Right? which seems to be perfectly fine. The final 5 gets into this cell. Suppose we have a 5 here, 5 gets forced here. Now what happens next? 5 gets forced here. And 5 gets forced in these two cells and these two cells, which also looks perfectly fine. Right. We need to look for something else. Mm. wow this is really nice guys a very tough deduction very very tough one i mean to at least to see, to see it visually it's not so easy can this yellow cell be a two look what happens i'll just highlight using the blue uh, border so if you have a two here follow closely two is forced here right by using classic 2 gets post here now uh, these three cells take a 2 so which means the moment you have a 2 here in this yellow and green 2 gets forced here right and that gives a 2 due to classic in this cell which forces a 2 here 
now you have two twos along this diagonal really nice right so which means we can eliminate the yellow cell as not being a two tough one to see but really beautiful reduction so two is not here let's remove the twos that forces two here and also gives a three here now i know along this diagonal two must be here the only cell left that removes the two from these cells and it also gives a two in these two cells it also gives a two in these two cells ah this can't be two because you got a two here so let's remove this greeny so two goes here and now two for this diagonal goes here wow this is a really nice sequence guys beautiful sequence of digits that gives two here three here and a six here fantastic wow this is a beautiful sudoku really a really clean diagonal sudoku by rom planner uh, thanks for creating this nice sudoku one two six three four five right so this must be seven eight nine let's do some tidying up work seven is removed okay three is not here three is not here so that gives me a three now three goes here and now in wow something is throwing it out of that so three in column three must be here i'm not sure why this you know color paper gets thrown out at some points uh, what do you think guys have you, i mean i've solved some sudokus and i've seen this happening so what is uh, why is that happening is it because we have reached some milestone or something or it, it has to do with something else so please do let me know in the comments uh, three goes here using classic three goes here and that gives three in this domino or which also can be placed three goes here which gives the final three in the diagonal and now where does the four go in this box four goes here so that puts the six nine here and that removes the nine from this cell giving a nine here so we are getting close now and now look where the four goes in this row uh, in this column there is only one cell left four goes here now let's focus on the fours four goes into this domino and four along this column in column nine has to be here because this can't be a four you already have a four here so this is a four that puts a four in this domino now four must be in these two cells okay so let's focus on row two this will be a six eight nine and this will be a six eight and nine now let's focus on row three this cell seven and eight can only be seven and eight and uh, along column three this will be seven and eight this is eight nine for the column this will be five nine and this will be a five seven nine okay now six along row seven must be in these two cells six along row nine must be in these two cells just flowing along with the classic here uh so i'm looking at this cell to see if i can do something here can't see anything ah two can be placed now two goes here so i need to be more uh better with the uh, tidying up stuff because this two could have been placed some time back after we put all the twos should be more cleaner um let's see look at this cell guys can't be one two three four and seven five or six so this is only eight or a nine that puts five in this domino five is not here now five is not here so five is in these three cells i'm sure we can eliminate one of those cells as not being a five but don't want to do that it's not going to help much so there must be some contradiction somewhere here this is what i'm trying to find look at this cell it cannot be a five it cannot be a four so this can only be seven eight nine 
So what do we have here? Okay, so six in diagonal top left to bottom right can only be in this cell. Let's highlight that. Maybe use uh, blue color or can be here. None other cells can take a six along that column. Now, uh, let me see if I can use this in some way. Oh, I have a six here, pencil mark. Come on, this should have been done. This is not a six, so that's a six now. That's a nine. So this is not a nine, not a nine. We got a six here. Let's remove the color. Now, okay. Six is in these three cells. Okay, it's not giving me anything. These two cells must be a seven, eight and nine because uh, you have three, four, six, one and two and a five here. So these two cells are seven, eight, nine. And that means this cannot be four. So four goes here. And that resolves this four, five pair, five, four. And that gives a five here, which gives a five in column five. Okay. Let's remove this cell as not being a five. So five on, on the other diagonal can only go here. So let's remove both the colors now. We are done with that. Oops. Okay, this is now ah four can be placed. Let's do some tidying up. Four is here. So these two cells are seven, eight, nine. And nine must be in one of these two cells. So this is not a nine, that's seven or eight. And this uh, along row three, seven, eight, nine. This is seven, eight, nine. So we have a triplet here. So four is posted in here. Now these two cells are six, eight, nine, six, eight, nine. Now column seven. So this must be seven or eight. So you have a seven, eight, nine triplet here. So this must be a five, six pair. Really uh, logical guys, logical solve. So this is six, this is five. Now six is forced into this cell. This will be seven or nine. So right, what can we do here? So nine is in one of these two cells in box nine. So that eliminates nine from here. So that's seven, eight. And now along this diagonal, there is a seven, eight pair. So this is a nine. This is seven, eight. So this is a nine. And now nine goes here along column eight. So this is seven, eight. So that gives eight here. This is a six, nine. And that finishes off the Sudoku, I think seven. This is a nine. This is eight. This is nine, seven, eight, eight, seven, nine, seven gives an eight here. This is a seven. This is eight. This is seven. This is eight. This is seven. So the Sudoku gets over in a rush here. Six and seven, seven, six and six and nine. With that, we have completed this beautiful Sudoku by Rome Planner. So I'm happy that we, uh, we made a video on the, uh, the Sudoku created by the author. So hope you enjoyed this video. And do remember to hit the subscribe button. We'll see you soon again with the video. Bye bye.